Hello and welcome to my No Bells and Whistles short series podcast coming to you raw and unedited. The aim of all my podcasts is to bring you awareness and empower you. If it entertains and makes you laugh, that is great too. If you haven't listened to any of my previous series, please go and check them out. My name is Albi Grayson Nicker, also known as OGN. And you are listening to episode three of Straight Talk with OGN. In this episode, it's all about story time. So let's get into it. Now, this is a story about someone who didn't want to approach me because she felt I'd be upset at her for stealing my ex-boyfriend. I was at an event when this lady walked over to me and said hello nervously. I smiled and said hello. She said if I, she, she asked if I recognized her and I said no because I had no idea who she was. She introduced herself and asked again if I recognized her. I said no but I knew of her. I'd only ever seen her, um, not met her, very briefly once and that was many months ago before I even, even had my first son who is now 21. So it was very, very difficult for me to, you know, recognize her or even say that I knew who she was because I truly didn't know who she was. Anyway, she recognized me from my pictures, according to her. And apparently he had a lot of my pictures, which made sense as we were dating. She said she initially didn't want to approach me because she felt I'd be upset with her. Then she asked if I was upset with her for stealing her my then boyfriend so I said no smiling to put her at ease now for me I don't believe you can steal someone you may be able to trap them physically and that is if you do succeed but you cannot steal nor trap their soul their spirit the essence of who they are even if they are with you they are not really with you they're constantly going to be searching for something outside because they feel um that they're not fulfilled or they're not where they're meant to be. Anyway, she asked me if I was ever angry at him and I said no. She said, what about her? Was I ever angry at her? And I said no. Now don't get me wrong, I cried. I cried a lot. Was I hurt by their action? Of course I was. I am human with feelings. Was I hurt for a long time? You bet Winnie the Pooh's honey I was. I was hurt, very hurt, by his action and not necessarily hers. This was because I felt he broke a commitment to me she didn't. I trusted him implicitly and he betrayed that trust. I felt that she didn't owe me any loyalty or respect with regards to my relationship, but he did. I'd always rationalized my feelings away Logic was my best friend when it came to dealing with hurt and pain. That way of responding to things when someone did something wrong to me was something that I had always thought was weird about me because TV programs have always shown us the way we were supposed to react when a relationship goes south. But I never did those things. So I thought I was weird. I later found out why I was doing that, that is using logic to explain my feelings away and justify events that happened to me during my personal development journey. I found out I wasn't weird. It was a coping mechanism that I had adopted over the years from childhood. This coping mechanism I found much later in life was not good as it never allowed me to heal from things. Just put a lead on it so I could get on with living and going through the motion of living. Does this behavior sound familiar to you? I also found out many years later too, during my personal development journey, that his actions had affected me in a lot of ways. Like for instance, I found out for a long time, I wasn't able to bring myself to commit my heart 100% in intimate relationships which that on its own was also wrong. 
but that that is um, another topic for a future episode. It also made me become more cautious in investing myself in any type of relationship because I believed they'd help me to. Other factors also influenced that behavior too, so it wasn't just him. Again, that is another topic for another time. Now, I could see she was perplexed when I said I wasn't angry at her. Her ego started getting the better of her and simmering up to the surface. Why not, she asked. I smiled calmly then replied, because I've always been of the school of thought since a very young age that, one, if something was for you, it can be truly stolen and if it was, and it would always stay yours. Two, if it goes away, it would always find its way to you. Now, I'm not talking about material things in this instance. I also told her that the incident taught me that he wasn't the one I was meant to spend the rest of my life with. The universe had used her to break me away from the path I was happily traveling because I wasn't going to do it myself. And that's the reason I wasn't mad at her and I wasn't mad at him. Now, I've always been scared of marrying someone else's husband. Wait, let me clarify. What I mean by someone else's husband is someone whom I was not destined to marry in this life or any other life. Someone that was destined to and to be with another person is someone else's husband or wife. I believe that if you marry someone who you were not supposed to, someone who was destined to another, you will have an okay marriage or a disastrous one. But if you marry the person meant for you or destined for you, you will have a great marriage. The second you meet them, you'll feel like you've known them or you've known each other forever. That is because your soul recognizes them from many lives or many lifetimes spent together before. If you've met and been together every lifetime, the bond gets stronger each time you meet again and your soul is restless without them. Now, this does not mean that you will not have problems in the relationship with this soulmate, but the bond between you won't let you break away from them. Even when you are angry with them, you can't stop thinking loving feelings about them. The thought of them brings a smile to your lips despite the anger you feel. When you see an image of them or see them in person, it is a struggle to maintain that anger that you're channeling at them. So after that conversation, I inquired about her mom, not her mom, I mean his mom and siblings who I knew. She invite, invited me to her home, but I had to decline. My schedule was so tight and I, was willing, I wasn't willing to compromise the time I scheduled to spend with my family. Besides, my intuition told me that the invite was because she didn't believe what I was telling her about my reaction. And I do understand her not believing because I've been told many times that the way I respond to situations wasn't normal. Now I understand that it was not normal to them because they were not used to any other way. Things we are used to become a normal or become normal to us. Getting beaten up or cursed out or bullied or hungry every day can pretty soon become normal for someone. But because it is their normal doesn't make it right. This brings me to the end of the story time. I hope that you learned something new or something about yourself. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this podcast with people. Also, put a comment below. Tell me what you think about the story. Tell me if you've experienced something like that, a heartbreak, what happened. And if you have a story that you want me to share on this podcast, please do not hesitate to email me. My email address is in the description below. 
but I will still say it out. It is podcast.ognokafor at yahoo.com.